Right, before we start our Alice driving lesson, let's have a look at all the controls, see what they all do. First we've got the hand pump, which is for pumping extra water into the boiler. We've got the pressure gauge, the blower, the regulator, water gauge, bypass valve, which is for uh, controlling the water going into the boiler from the pump, forward reverse, brake and the whistle. When the engine is stationary I need to check the water in the boiler, which you can see here, and you can control the amount of fire by turning the blower up and down, and that will draw the fire more to make more steam. You can see the fire there drawing away. And now I'm checking the lubricator. I've drained the water out of the bottom and I'm filling it up with fresh oil. Once it's full I'll put the top back on and then open the little screw adjuster on the front. Uh, the screw adjuster needs to be open about half a turn to deliver the right amount of oil. And we're ready for another ride. Right, we've got plenty of pressure, so we're all ready for the off. On this line we're going downhill, so we won't need an awful lot of steam. Put the reversing lever into forward gear, open the regulator, turn the blower off, and away we go. just coasting down here I'll put a little bit of blower on just to maintain the fire while we're running. And I'm also going to make sure the pump's on. So close that little valve, that bypass valve, and that means the pump will be pumping water into the boiler. Just to press the steam over that level part. And there's more downhill, so we're just coasting. Okay, I've stopped at the bottom of the incline and I'm checking the fire. So I open the fire door. Oh, yes, that looks good and bright. You need to see little bits of black coal on top of the fire, ready to be burned. If it's all over red, then add extra coal. You can see the water gauge is pretty full. You can slow down if we want to clear it and just double check water goes and comes back. Got the bypass valve on, so that should be pumping extra water into the boiler and we're ready to go up the gradient. Okay, I'm turning the blower right off, put the reverser into forward gear, make sure the brake's off and away we go. regulator, put it in mid gear, open the fire door, save the safety valve going and just a touch on the blower. After we've been running for a little while the pressure begins to get a little bit sluggish. It's time then to get the fire a rake out 
get rid of any clinker or build up of ash. I'm raking right into the corners along the bottom underneath the fire door and into the corner on the other side. Once that's been done, I need to replace all the coal that's gone with fresh. Once you've raked the fire, then you've got to clear the ash pan. Get all the ash out from underneath so the air can get into the bottom of the fire. <laughs> 